Artist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. Temperatures this afternoon running about 5 to 10 degrees above normal for this time of year, but it appears that today will be the warmest day for the foreseeable future. Here's a look at the next seven days. We're going to cool back down, but as we cool down, we can expect just beautiful conditions. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s to around 80 starting tomorrow and continuing through the upcoming weekend and through most of next week. We've got some great weather on the way and speaking of great weather, that's what we had throughout the morning and afternoon. Mostly sunny skies. You can see not a cloud in the sky here throughout the morning. Then the clouds started to bubble up as we made our way through the afternoon as that cold front approached from the north. And this evening that cold front is going to have the chance as it drops south to produce some hit or miss showers and thunderstorms. And there really is an emphasis on the miss part of that hit or miss chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most of us will not see anything, but where we do, there could be some brief gusty winds, some heavy rain, maybe some small hail, and of course the uh, threat for some cloud to ground lightning. Everything will be out of here before we get to midnight. Here's a look at the satellite showing a cold front dropping south from the UP. South of that front this afternoon, filling like the middle of summer. Temperatures were in the 80s from Wisconsin south into Illinois. Then we had 90 from central Iowa back into Nebraska, where North Platte actually hit 100 degrees, but that weather is dropping south with the cold front. Behind the cold front, we have cooler air dropping south from Canada. 77 in Marquette today, 75 in International Falls. That is the air mass that's going to move in here for the next couple of days. With lots of sunshine tomorrow, temperatures will be running slightly below normal. Most of us will be in the mid to upper 70s. You can see that normal high is right around 80 degrees. But not only that, we're going to see a change with the humidity as well. The dew point today got up to 70, and that's where most of us really start to feel the humidity in the air, the stickiness. But as we head through the next seven days and beyond, we're going to be looking at dew points that will be much lower than that. For the most point, uh, dew points will be in the 50s, which is considered very comfortable. At times, we may hit the lower 60s, and other times we'll see dew points drop down into the 40s. Skycast shows mostly sunny skies across the area tomorrow. On Friday, we'll see a lot of sunshine, giving way to increasing clouds. And then by Friday night into Saturday, the chance for some showers and thunderstorms will return. High temperatures on Friday once again in the upper 70s. Your forecast for tonight calls for a near full moon mixing with clear skies. Once that chance for a shower or a thunderstorm comes to an end, lows will be in the 50s tomorrow. Just an absolutely beautiful day. High temperatures in the 70s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 77. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Lucky 7 Dog Rescue. And we did that today. I forecast 87. So far, the high temperature has been 86 degrees. 78 on Friday, lots of sunshine, giving way to increasing clouds. Chance for a shower or thunderstorm Friday night and throughout the day on Saturday. Upper 70s to around 80 on Saturday. On Sunday, sun and clouds, upper 70s. And then more of the same, beautiful weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. We'll see lots of sunshine with temperatures pretty close to normal for this time of year.